My grandmother had this poem on her refrigerator and it said this, You're sure you're right? How fine and strong. But were you ever just as sure and wrong? My career in dentistry has been a lot like that. We didn't know 29 years ago that periodontal disease might be the single biggest risk factor for heart attack and stroke. We didn't know that HPV infection would replace smoking and alcohol as the single greatest risk factor for oral cancer and that we could test it through saliva. We didn't know that we were born without cavity bugs and that it was transmissible from saliva, from, from people kissing babies. We didn't know. I'm Dr. Susan Maples, and I'm passionate about this next big phase in dentistry, linking oral disease to systemic disease and helping you learn how to do that. We have such an opportunity. We've always been about prevention, and now, with the chronic preventable disease rate in the United States, this is our big chance. We can help people take a significant step toward health just by looking in their mouth the one place the doctor doesn't look. I would go one step further and say hygienists are the only health professionals that have six month regular preventive intimate relationships with patients. That puts us in a prime in a prime seat for helping patients sort out medical issues. And it puts us in a prime seat for primary diagnostics, and we will be called to do that, like it or not. You see, the future of dentistry is all about the future patient. And the future patient is coming in with a lot more complicated health history and a lot more complicated factors that involve health and disease than we've ever seen. We ought to be able to look in the mouth and recognize all those signs of instability and be able to readily link them towards suspicion of disease and help patients actually screen for them and test for them. Help patients take a significant step toward his or her personal desired health goals. That's our role. When you think of the words oral systemic link, what comes to mind for you? Most dentists and dental hygienists are now at least associating periodontal disease with the risk for heart attack and stroke, but what else? There's so much more. Here's a couple of examples. Acid reflux. We can look in the mouth and diagnose acid reflux, help the patient with treatment, and save them from the risk of oral and pharyngeal cancer. What about sleep apnea? 76% of physicians aren't screening for sleep apnea. We can do that. How about polypharmacology? The whole host of medications they walk in taking that give them dry mouth. How does dry mouth play out in the new understanding of caries as a disease? And what about the future of salivary diagnostics? That's huge. The world is at our fingertips here. Let me help you understand. The future of dentistry is awesome, and I look forward to helping you step into it. I would like to be your next speaker for a keynote speech, a one-day seminar, or a two-day workshop. I look forward to helping you.